In this lesson, we'll be looking at accounting systems. There are two types of accounting systems, namely your formal and informal accounting systems. Your formal, think of it as someone who is behind a computer in a suit and a tie and has other colleagues helping them out to compile financial statements. And your informal, think of it as a sole trader, someone who owns and runs a business and is behind a pen and paper, jotting down incomes and expenses on a not so computerized system. Now, the difference between these two is that normally you'll find that the informal trader or business is not registered with SARS, is not a vet vendor, and normally they don't have trading licenses. And the formal type of business is your big retail shops. They operate under these licenses. They are registered with SARS and they are eligible to charge customers VAT. Now we will be comparing the difference between the formal and informal bookkeeping systems and we will be comparing it to different elements of accounting. Number one, we'll be looking at capital. For formal bookkeeping, normally capital is contributed by either investors or at times the owner of the business. For informal, normally capital is provided through a loan, through personal savings that will contribute towards the business. Drawings. Drawings in a formal accounting system, normally companies don't allow owners or normally companies don't allow owners of the company to take money from the company for personal expenses. However, in an indigenous or informal bookkeeping system, the owner of the company normally takes money to pay for his or her personal expenses. Fixed assets. Fixed assets in a formal setting, you will have the assets that will be depreciated each year over the lifespan of that particular asset. And in an indigenous accounting system, normally we find that the assets are bought once off and they never really depreciated up until it really is in kaputs where it's unable to be used no more, nor can it be sold to at least get some money back. Next, we'll be looking at stock. Stock, normally in a formal accounting system, Stock is an asset in the books of the business and is controlled and accurately recorded as bought or sold. In an indigenous bookkeeping system, stock purchased is treated as a payment of cash and an expense and will be recorded but might be kept as something you will buy or sell. Banking account. The banking account in a formal bookkeeping system is something that the business owns and not what the individual owns, simply because we use the business entity concept which says that what belongs to the business or the business is an entity on its own. If you are to sue the business, you are suing the business and not the owner. The banking account in an indigenous accounting system, the banking account will be in the name of the owner and the business entity concept does not apply here simply because if you sue a small business, you are basically suing the owner of the business. Credit. The business will sell on credit as well as buy on credit and this will be administered through a process in accounting which will be monitored and controlled with various accounting programs. Many transactions in the indigenous system are done on cash simply because small, smaller businesses don't have the amount of money where they can survive off a period of months without receiving money. Income. Sales will be monitored through money received into the tills as well as invoices issued on credit. Indigenous bookkeeping. Income is just formally written up in the notebook and sometimes not at all. Income in this case will just equal the money received for the day via sales. Expenses. Expenses are monitored and budgeted for but must be proportionate to the income that is earned. Ex in the indigenous bookkeeping system, expenses are often paid for in cash. In simple terms, when you're doing formal bookkeeping, it needs to run through a certain process where it needs to be in the budget, it needs to be approved, and it needs to be authorized. In the indigenous bookkeeping system, expenses are just paid off in cash. When anything arises, they go to the cash register and they pay for whatever expense it is. Profit in the formal bookkeeping system is sales less cost of sales, which equals to gross profit, less expenses, which equals to your net profit. In the indigenous bookkeeping system, profits are regarded as anything you make after a sale. 
without factoring into account that there are expenses that need to be paid. So if you bought something worth 10 rand and you sell it for 20 rand, 10 rand is your profit. You don't consider traveling, transport, packaging. That's the indigenous bookkeeping. Selling price in the former bookkeeping system is basically an add-on, a markup towards the cost of whatever you are selling. And in the indigenous bookkeeping system, selling price can normally be negotiated, brought down to a lower price, especially if you know someone who knows someone. Cost of sales. A record is kept for cost of sales where they either use the perpetual or the periodic inventory system. For the indigenous bookkeeping, cost of sales, there's really no record of such and it's unlikely that the business will keep strict control over cost of sales. Labor costs. In the formal bookkeeping, labor costs are costs that one incurs in the production of something. So if you are a factory and you produce shoes, the cost to producing those shoes will form part of labor costs. The people that make the shoes, the people that polish the sandals, the people that make the soles, the machines, the floor, the plant, those all fall under labor costs. In the indigenous bookkeeping system, there's often one person that does everything and therefore there's not much that goes into labor costs. In a nutshell, formal bookkeeping system is basically large companies, big enterprises, big retail businesses that run in the industry. And indigenous bookkeeping is basically your small puzzle shops, your small self-owned businesses, your small your small entrepreneurs, those normally fall under the indigenous bookkeeping system. So the key words to look out for when doing any question relating to indigenous and formal bookkeeping system is who does this belong to? Does this sound like a big corporation or does this sound like a small entity in the local neighborhood? We're going to do a quick quiz where we'll test your knowledge on whether or not you understand the formal and informal bookkeeping systems. So for this, you will need to answer if it's indigenous bookkeeping system or formal bookkeeping system. Number one, Jack is a flower seller. He is the only person involved in the business. The management of MBX financial services draws up budgets and holds planning meetings to set goals for the future of the business. Gina only makes notes of her transactions in her notebook. Mark owns a home baking business. He relies mainly on cash transactions. Westprop uses a computerized accounting system to capture their financial data. Octavia owns a small business. She has a private banking account and her business has a separate banking account. Bongani owns a motor mechanic business and uses source documents to complete the financial records of his business. The business sets out to make a profit from its operating activities. Sam keeps journals and ledgers and prepares a trial balance at the end of each month. Michelle's boutique employs an accountant to prepare its financial statements. Devon safeguards the business's cash and assets himself. Sally counts her daily takings and calculates her profit roughly. She then uses the money she makes to pay for household expenses. If you got less than 80%, click on the link in the description where we can assist you with private tutoring to ensure that you understand these concepts.